Uh, I just got this uh, drill press in a position that I wanted, um, and I thought I'd show you what I did. Um, this is an older press. This is this is a Delta press from the 40s. It's about a 1943 press. Um, <clears throat> you know, they made good solid equipment back then. Of course, it was it was a three-phase machine, and um, you know, you, not really for the home shop. Uh, this is my shop at home, and I've only got single-phase power, so I've converted this, which was originally a 600-volt machine, to 110 volts. Uh, but it's still a three-phase machine. Um, I ended up swapping out the motor for another three-phase motor of 240 volts so that I could run it with this device um, which is a variable frequency drive. This particular model costs 130 bucks. It's um, 110 input, single phase, regular household current, and outputs three-phase 240 volts. Um, Beyond that, it does some marvelous, marvelous things. Um, I'll see if I can show you some up close stuff of that. Uh, the uh, this is the drive, and you'll see that it's 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 flashing 90. Um, what that is is that's the Hertz rating, and if you know anything about electricity in Canada, we run on a 60 Hertz, so that's actually um, over the Hertz we normally run on. If you increase the Hertz delivered to the motor, it changes the speed on a three-phase motor. Um, the drive can do that automatically. I put in a potentiometer right here beside the switch and if you watch if you watch as I turn that you'll, you'll, you'll see that you'll see the drive actually change Hertz and that's generally the speed um, I also have a, a reversing switch um, and that would be for tapping and I'm still using the old manual magnetic starter mind you all the controls here are running through a, this is actually a braided uh, water line for a dishwasher that I'm feeding a cat5 four pair wire through to run my controls um, so I'm really, it's like, I'm really only switching, I believe it's a 24 volt system. Um, it is absolutely fantastic, these drives. They are so easy to wire. A monkey could do it. I, I, um, I just think it would be interesting to show you guys what this does for this press. Um, right now, Right now I'm at, uh, there I'm at 60 hertz, which is standard power, and I'm in, I'm in, you know, medium speed. So this would run, drill press at that speed, standard speed. See, it kind of has a soft start. It also has, it also has a, a, a brake. Um, you can see it put on the brake. Uh, you can, of course, switch directions by changing the rotation. It applies the brake and changes directions, um, which is really neat. Uh, you might say, well, what do I need that for? Um, what's good about that is, is I, can, I can slow down the spindle to save for tapping and, and see that's pretty good torque I can't stop it so if I was going to tap some steel maybe with a tap and I didn't want to break the tap I want to I want a bit of torque see I can stop that but I still think that's a bit too too much well that's obviously too slow maybe so maybe around around eight Seems good. I can still stop that. I can count my tapping. I can switch on the fly. Untap it out. Tap it in. A nice little feature added, which is of course a bonus with the variable frequency drive. Um, 
What's really good is I don't have to take this cover off anymore to have speed control. It's all controlled here, so uh, you know this this will go up to 90 hertz, which is the hertz are related to the speed. So at 60 hertz, it's the full motor speed in this particular motor, 1725. At 30, it would be half that speed, 900. At, at 90, it would be half again as fast, so that's what I've set. I've overrun the motor, so this gives me all the low ends with full horsepower. This is all I do. I mean, that's spinning. That's, that's, and that's not even in my top speed, you know. Uh, that's, you know, it's just easy to do. It injects a brake. Um, I love it. This particular press is uh, probably one of the greatest American presses made from the 50s. Um, it has the foot feed, which, uh, which is a really nice feature. Um, special order. Um, I did do some modifications, uh, particularly the depth stop. And, and what I did is this neural nut here, which is placed underneath, was was placed they're generally placed together here with a lot with with this wash nut with with you know the lock washer between them and you would set your things the problem with this setup was is um let me see if i can set this up and show you is you know you you um you sometimes you sometimes are, uh, you know, you want to bring your quill down and you want to hold it there, but the return spring brings it back. So what this is, I put one of these down here, and that, can, that, that at least holds my press at a height, maybe just above the wood. Then all I did was just add one of these cheap motor collars, one of these cheap handles, and this is my quick stop. So there's my depth now. Um, if I think I am really going to apply pressure, I'll bring this down on top of it. But I, I personally think that this is a far superior way to use these. Um, and, and it also, see, brings my foot lever down to a nice, a nice height, um, which is really handy for two-handed operation. Now, uh, this, this particular one will run up to 120 hertz frequency and spin this spindle here fast enough to run router bits um, which is fantastic uh, anyway I thought uh, I thought I'd just show you that I'm pretty happy I've got the table uh, set up anyway um, I love it that's easier than belts that's for sure Hope you enjoyed, thanks.